got you stuck. Got, got you stuck off, off, off the rail. The, the realness. The girls are fighting. But this isn't the first time. Rap beef is as old as time, and true hip-hop heads can recall the lyrical squabbles of female MCs like Roxanne Shante and Queen Latifah, Lil' Kim, and Foxy Brown. Those battles stayed between two women and didn't get get out of hand. My, have times changed. Currently, the rap beef that has the internet in a chokehold is between Nicki Minaj, 41, and Megan The Stallion, 28. The summary of the beef is that Nicki has been subbing Meg for some years now, and the Houston rapper decided to sub back in her recently released record, Hiss. After Megan the Stallion, real name Megan Pete, dropped Hiss on Friday, fans speculated that the Grammy winner, 28, was taking aim at Minaj and her husband with lyrics referencing Megan's Law. Nicki Minaj's husband Petty served a four-year prison sentence for that conviction and is required to register as a sex offender wherever he lives. But in 2022, Petty failed to register in California as a sex offender and was sentenced to house arrest. Hiss didn't mention Minaj by name, but the Pink Friday 2 rapper seemed to take the single personally, dropping a diss track of her own. Minaj's big foot nods to more than just Megan the Stallion's romantic relationships and her 2020 shooting by Tory Lanez. In several lines, Minaj accuses her alleged rival of lying on your dead mama. The rapper, 41, also reportedly mentioned Thomas's death on the social radio platform, Station Head. As of Wednesday afternoon, it seems Thomas was not the only late parent to get caught up in the rapper's feud. The final resting place of Robert Mirage, Minaj's father, who died in February 2021, also began circulating on social media. Neither representatives for Megan the Stallion nor Minaj responded to request for comment. With rap fans now allegedly using grave sites to fuel a feud, a Houston area police representative told prospective vandals should be prepared to face the consequences. There's laws against defacing and damaging grave sites, and anyone that is caught in any act will obviously be met with the consequences of being arrested, a police source said. We highly encourage everyone to just stay away from the cemetery and not get involved in something like this.